Okay, hi guys, welcome to a new video on a game called Scratch. Today we're going to be making a really simple scrolling platform. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, this is the code we're going to be using for the player. We need two variables, why don't we make them right now? I'll just, I already made them because I set up this project already. We only need two, which is in this project is very simple. Just the scroll X. And then scroll y that's all you need okay now that we've done it here i'm gonna rebuild the code okay so you guys can just yeah uh so well, let me just put it over here okay dude, okay whatever i'm just gonna move it over here because it's kind of getting in the way of what we're doing oh my god so i'm gonna take this all apart and shove this in here and shove this in here okay so when flag clicked we're gonna set scroll x to zero, set scroll y to zero, because the scroll variables are gonna tell where the screen goes, because we're not actually moving the cat, instead we're moving the screen. So, yeah, um, so that set that to zero, then forever, if the, this here is gonna be the controls, uh, yeah, but before we do the controls, guys, we're gonna want to pop in a go to zero zero and go to front layer. Just really quick. Okay, now we're gonna put a ton of these blocks in here. So just put all the guys, we're gonna need a block to here, I'll just edit it. So move X is the first one. At press the add an input button, press Y and then uh, tech, no, text, uh, add a text label, so they make it Y, and then add an input, this is Y, and make sure to check the run without screen refresh, or no, make sure to have it, yeah, check, so, now we're gonna put one, one more, and also guys, this is very important, put a wait zero seconds on the bottom, or er, actually, yeah, we gotta run this without screen refresh, so if we just put that on the bottom, Okay, if we put this on the bottom, then it will make it work. It, it won't make you travel at the speed of light, let me tell you that. So, we're going to be using, we're not going to be using the arrow keys, instead we're going to be w, using WASD. So, W, if that key's pressed, change the Y by 2. If, if uh, S is pressed, which is down in our case, move minus 2. And then if D key press, press no, instead of uh, the, changing the Y, we're going to switch the X. So D is the right one, so it's right is negative in this game for some reason. So we're, see, because if I move this guy over, or actually it's positive, whatever. Uh, so change it by 2. And minus D for this one. And this one we're going to be putting an A. So there we go. Uh, now, if you guys can see, did my scroll variable, so let me just click the green flag again to make sure everything's working. Oh wait, oops, sorry guys, we haven't, I, 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 we haven't done the part yet. This part's so easy, all you have to do, or no, not that, change, scroll X, scroll Y, Y, X, and Y, it's that easy. Okay, now, here, let's test these guys again. See, my variables are going up when I'm pressing the W key and the space key. Now, you guys can, like, maybe put a longer wait in. It doesn't matter how long you put in. It'll just, like, wait a few seconds before you can move again. So, it's good for moderating your speed, but we're not going to be doing that. So, guys, now that we have that down, I know you'd be like, well, our cat's not moving. Well, he's not supposed to. The screens are just going to move to make it look like he's moving. So we're gonna make two new screens, or two things. One screen, I'm gonna make green. So just take the edge of the border, or actually, just fill. Oh wait, oops. So just take your border and fill it green. Yes, okay. Now we're gonna get another one. Instead of filling this green, we're just gonna fill it red to make sure it's working. Okay, so one flag clicked. Okay, guys, we're starting some new code. 
uh, this is a pretty simple code. So, uh, you can see, okay. When flag clicked, we're gonna, so we're gonna do something. Set X. This is like the easiest part ever, but we might want to do a custom block for this. Uh, position. And then X. And then X. And then, no, not a boolean, sorry. A, or not, not a boolean, a input. Y, and then we're gonna put in Y. Okay guys, so there, now we have it. Now we're gonna set these two variables, it's so easy, we're just gonna set scroll X, scroll Y. Now I'm gonna want this appear to the middle of the screen, so when I do it, I'm just gonna set X to X and Y to Y. Okay, so guys, um, let's just hide the sprite 3 for a second. Because, uh, I want to show you guys this. So, there you go. Um, so, now, if we press the W, A, and S, D keys, uh, I kind of got the controls reversed, but yeah, you can see we're moving. But, it is better if we don't put the weight in, because then we can move a little faster. But, guys, for some reason, I got the keys reversed here, I'm an idiot, so, W, and S. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, I also got these keys reversed too for some reason. Okay, uh, there we go. Now it's working. So, yeah, now you can see it. I can move around. You might want to change these numbers. So, like, 5, negative 5, 5, negative 5. So, now my guy moves faster, as you can see. And as you can see, I'm... It looks like I'm moving, but I'm not moving. It's just the screen that's moving. So now we're gonna want to rename the sprites just so we can get a little more organized. Player. Oh, sorry. Pl oh my God. Player. Oh my God. Why do I put so many capitals? Player. Screen. One. And we're actually going to delete this screen, because if you duplicate it, it's just faster. Now, guys, you can make these screens, you can, like, put anything you want onto these screens. So, now, but if you guys want to make a screen next to it, so the length of a screen, or the length of a scratch costume, a full one, is 480. Why is this bitmap? Okay. Uh, the length of a full scratch, what the? Okay, whatever. The length of a full scratch costume is 480. So if you guys would like to make, if you guys would like to make it appear to the right, it's right plus 480. There. So now if you walk to the right, see we can see the red stuff, which is good. Okay, but let's say you wanted to add a sprite to the scrolling game. How would you do it? Well, you you would do it just like this. Literally, except you could put other code in too. So we're gonna just kind of make this. Uh, let's just make it a. Well, let me see this fine random costume. Oh, let's make it a then, for instance. J just whatever. Okay, so let's say we wanted to put a then at 480. So, yeah. so now it's just the same position. It's just the same stuff. But now, oh wait, what the hell? Oh, uh, maybe he's not at the front layer. Hold on. And always make sure to set them to the front layer. Because sometimes it doesn't work. So now you guys can see Eamon. But if, yeah, so where he is at 480. But as you guys can see, if we walk away, you can still see his foot. Now guys, this problem takes a long time to fix. If you do the, if you do the long and annoying way. So, tedious way. So we're just going to do the regular way or the lazy way we're just gonna make a sprite you can just fill it with nothing and set the outline to uh 20 and then we're just gonna do this you probably are gonna need to make it bigger though we want to keep the sprite at the front at all times so go to zero zero this is pretty important and go to front Layer, okay, uh, so there, but we're gonna want to make it, uh, bigger, so, we're gonna want to go like this, 
and then guys so you can still expand it like this all you gotta do is make another square and if you guys want you can just paint it that's kind of what i did on my other scrolling engine so as you guys can see um we now have a blackboard around the screen probably like how does this help well you see now we can no longer see his foot when we're not on the screen but that's the thing though his foot is still there but but we have it. we can't see it so that is so that is what we're trying to do so and if you guys and if you guys like wanted to let's say you guys wanted to make something hide and appear can you shut up if you must, if you guys wanted to make something hide and appear or move around on the screen uh, i that we're gonna have to save that for another episode so if you'd like to see five likes on if we get you know i'll just make another episode anyway if you guys it just anyway okay so guys um now let's check okay uh yeah okay guys this is just an example of how much you can do with the spoiler engine this, this is the exact same one i was using now this is a remake of this um the apple arcade game sneaky sasquatch this is this is how much you can do with the spoiler engine it's not the best spoiler engine but it does get the job done and i think i made my the one in the tutorial a little different than this one so yeah, if you guys would like to know uh, how to do this, then we gotta do like a part two. Okay? So, and if you guys would like to see more, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to never miss out on another video. Okay guys, bye!